everyone, we're in the craft room and what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be making a mold. I'm going to be making a mold of a couple of bowls so that I can create some resin bowls in the future that are decorative and fun. And this is a really great product. It's called Easy Mold and it's a silicone rubber mold. And I haven't used it before, but I'm really excited to give it a try and I'm hoping it'll work. So we'll have to figure that out together. So what we're going to do is there's two parts to this product and we have an A and a B and I'm going to put it in I think in this little cup because I don't want to make too much and it's kind of gooey and there's a full packet of directions inside the box that you can refer to if you have any questions and you have about 45 minutes to an hour of working time. Let me pour. I'm going to do a tablespoon of each half. So it's similar to the resin in that you have two halves that when you mix it together they create compound that that hardens on its own. And then we're going to do the same with the part B. And this is a really cool blue. How cool is that color? So I'm going to take a tablespoon of that as well and put it in the cup. I'm going to scrape it all out. And then you're going to mix. And you're going to mix until you get a uniform color and there aren't any more stripes or anything in there and both colors have completely blended. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to, on the inside of one and on the outside of the other, I'm going to create a thin mold. And I'm going to have to do three or four layers of this and I have to allow an hour between each layer before I can add another layer. And I'm going to do the inside of the yellow and the outside of I'm doing the inside of the pink and the outside of the yellow. And what I'm going to do, I think, is just kind of pour it down a little bit on here. And it's going to, I'm sure it's going to spread and run, but I'm hoping it'll at least cling to it enough. As they said to do the very first layer to be pretty thin. So I'm going to try to follow directions and do that. I've added additional layers to the molds and I still have to finish the inside of this one but I wanted to show you because I was having a really hard time working with this product but I think I kind of have it down now and the way I did it the very first time using my fingers and stuff was a mess because trying to get it off of your fingers is crazy it's really sticky and everything so what I found is they have these measuring cups that they sell and you can probably find them at the craft store and they have the the measurements on there and I have and it comes with actually paintbrushes and stir sticks and this is the big stir stick that comes with it but I have two popsicle sticks it didn't come with it but I have them from other craft projects and stuff and that's what I use and what I've been doing I've been measuring one ounce of the first and then another ounce of the second so it'll be a total of two ounces and that seems to be the best way for me so far all I do is I scoop a bunch out into here until I have an ounce and then I do the same with the blue layer and then I start mixing it and stuff like that but this way it stays off of my hands and I'm not ruining my my measuring cups or anything like that and I don't know if it'll peel out of here after, but I think once it's dried for 24 hours, I'll be able to peel it out of, out of the cups that I've used so far. So we'll have to see about that. And then I can reuse the cups. But I just wanted to let you know, it's kind of a messy, messy product to use, but I think I kind of have the hang of it, so it's not that big of a deal after all. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'm going to keep adding layers to the inside of the mold so that 
we can start making some really fun projects. Put a total of three layers on the bowls and now it's been 24 hours and it's time to peel them so we'll see how this all worked out. I need to start an edge on the bowl. And all I'm going to do is peel once I get the edge. And it peels off very easily off of the plastic. And I'll go around first and then I'll peel off the bottom. And there's the top of our bowl. Now it is kind of, you know, soft and stuff like that, but what I can do is I can fill it maybe with rice or something like that to give it a little bit of weight and it'll keep um, the shape. Now I'm just going to start to separate it from the plastic bowl and I'm going to go around and then peel it right off. So here it is. And it is kind of soft but inflexible which is okay. And what I can do is I can place this right back into the bowl if I want it to be rigid and it'll give it support. And then I can fill it up with whatever I want, you know, on the outer edges of it. And then I would be putting and then I would be putting the inside in and I can fill that with rice to give it the weight that I need and to keep it all in shape. And then I can make all kinds of really cool bowls. So I'm really excited. So you're going to start seeing some bowls coming out of out of my craft room and here's another thing here's the plastic cups that I use to mix the mold the silicone mold and don't throw them away because you can reuse them because this stuff will peel right off of it because because it's plastic and it has set um, now you can use it again you know get the rest of it off and all of a sudden you have this measuring cup that you can use again so I'm hoping you're thinking of things that you can mold um, to be able to create things with. And these molds can be used for um, chocolate, um, plaster, all kinds of different mediums. So I'll, it's all in the directions. But if you're going to be using it for chocolate, I would suggest not using it for the resin or the plaster or any of the other things because you just don't want those molds to mix. So you would probably want to make two different molds. But here it is. I hope you like it. I hope you give it a try. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. And to see how I made this and all my other crafts, just go to my website at www.craftclutch.com. And the directions are there for this and all of them. And we will see you next time. Thanks again for watching and happy crafting.